Hello, I'm Tim Kaufman, and this is uh, another update on my journey uh, to Ironman Lake Placid. And actually, it's 198 days away in July. Um, I have a very um, unconventional road that I'm taking to Ironman. So uh, I say this every time. I don't suggest that you follow my training plan. Or right now, I don't suggest that you follow my eating plan because I'm actually on a juice fast. I've never, I've done juice fast before. I've never actually trained um, any substantial training on a juice fast. So it's going to be an interesting ride. It's a great experiment, um, but I'm ready to learn. Didn't know I've lost 200 pounds on a whole food plant-based diet. I am also an EDS patient that has struggled with multiple challenges. Um, and the last couple of years, I've been, I feel like I've been riddled with a pretty major surgeries. Um, I've done marathons, ultra marathons, half Ironmans, and um, I ended up having to get an ankle fusion, but I still went after Ironman Lake Placid last year. I missed the bike cutoff by about 15 minutes. I was 13 months post-op of an ankle fusion. Um, and just before that, I had a pretty um, major spine surgery. And this year, just two and a half weeks ago, um, I had to get a muscle reattached to a bone and a nerve relocation on my arm. Um, so my arm is out of commission for at least six more weeks. All that said, I'm here to give a quick update and to talk about how mental fasting and training is. There's a really cool correlation that I'm starting to see um, with regard to both training and fasting. Um, whether you're, it doesn't really matter if you're fasting or starting a new eating plan or uh, just training for a 5K or just walking every day, whatever challenge that you set. Um, I find through my life and my experience, there's so much of this is mental and so little of it really is physical. And here's what I mean. Um, I'm on day six of my juice fast. Typically, when I get this far in, things get easier for me. The hunger subsides. It just kind of becomes more normal. Um, I'm really excited that tomorrow is day seven to start the weekend. Um, it's nice to have that much time under my belt before a change in my routine. That's usually when I screw up. But today, um, I, I'm i a full-time teacher, and then we own a restaurant. I stopped at the restaurant, and they were cooking up a storm. Everything smelled so good. It's such healthy food. Um, I got really hungry, like super hungry. And... I once I told my mind like no we weren't were juice fat. I went and got a juice out of the cooler. I mean I also had a tea while I was there, a cold tea. Um I wasn't hungry but the smells were just driving me nuts. And so once I decided like no matter what it smells like I'm not eating, I was able to spend a couple hours there and magically I wasn't hungry after I convinced my mind that it doesn't matter what's happening, you're not eating. Um, so that was a cool kind of mental win. But the other mental win came on training. Um, my legs are getting a little bit tired um, because I'm really, this is kind of just starting out. I'm kind of not pushing really hard, but I would say they're moderate workouts. I had an hour on the bike today um, in kind of a higher zone. So um, if you notice, that's the workout right there. And you'll notice the lines when they go up and kind of hit that plateau. Um, that's where the wattage comes up. Um, you'll notice the white line above the blue line. Um, that's called the functional threshold. That's like where I'm pushing not my max, but I'm pushing what I could probably handle for one hour. Um, and then that would be it. I would My energy would be expended. So although it's not a really high wattage, you're maintaining that, you know, I don't know what it is, 75% or 80% FTP um, for a few minutes. Now, here's the thing. When I looked at the workout, I can kind of tell by where the lines go, how hard it's going to be. This did not strike me as a hard workout. It's just, um, it's not, you know, it's not 
exactly easy, but it's definitely not a difficult workout. So I got about to where that star is that I put there. And all of a sudden, it got really, like, more frustrating than hard. It's like I did the first kind of inch of that little flat, that interval, what we call. And my legs were, like, screaming. I was just like, and I said to myself, there's no way I'm getting through two more of these and finishing this one. Even if I can finish this interval, I'm never going to have enough in the tank to do the next two. And so I kept going. I started, like, losing it mentally. Like, I wanted to quit. I wanted to say this is stupid. It's not working. But instead of doing that, I put on some slower music. And I just kind of took a couple deep breaths. I relaxed. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to see where I can go. I'm going to go for another minute, see what happens. I got through that minute. A good song came on. I listened to that for about three minutes. And then I finished the interval. And then you can tell my wattage goes back down, so it gets easier. When the next interval came, I took a deep breath. I just relaxed. I even closed my eyes for a little bit. And I'm like, this is not bad. I just got to relax, take it easy. And I was able to get through that wattage um, without even a hitch. And then it dropped down. And I was actually pretty excited about that third interval, which was really easy, actually. I got done with the workout, an hour workout, and I couldn't believe just how a change in my attitude made that workout. The difference was night and day. It actually made the workout easy. It was not a difficult workout. But in the beginning, when I first started, I was all discombobulated. I wanted to quit. Then from there, I hopped off the bike. I went right to the treadmill. I did 30 minutes on the treadmill at a, uh, four miles an hour at a 5% incline. I'm doing this in place of jogging because I can't jar my arm around. And it's a good cardio. So for six days of not eating, um, I did about an hour and a half of probably zone two training. I feel fantastic. But I wanted to just talk really quickly how we psych ourselves out when we first start training. I once read, you never judge a run by the first mile. And it's so true. A lot of things change, especially up here. And I think when we convince our bodies that like this is going to get done with your approval or not, our minds kind of just go to this place like, all right, let's get this done as efficiently as possible. So here's what I've learned through many years of doing this stuff. Um, most of this stuff that happens on training and routine and diet, um, it's a lot of it is mental, more than we ever know. That willingness not to quit, but not just not to quit, but to go to a place when you're in that workout that's relaxing. We tend to get real tensed up because we get frustrated and angry. But I've been in so many situations where the key for me was just to relax, take a couple breaths, think about what's going on, calm yourself down, and just tell yourself, just go another minute, another minute. And before you know it, you're in a whole different place mentally and the workout gets done and you come back and do a YouTube video uh, to share what you've learned. So I hope that helps. Um, if if you like this stuff, put some comments in. If you got questions, I'll try to answer them. Uh, definitely hit the subscribe button so um, you get notified when I post one of these. I'm trying to post as many as I can. I'm super excited about it. And um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.